I'm John Smith Horn, and I live in Ellington, Connecticut. I'm a teacher. Uh, for 30 years, I've been working in the same South Windsor Public School System uh, nearby town. And for the last three or four years, I'm actually a middle school teacher, having moved up from the elementary school, and I'm the coordinator of the Gifted and Talented program. When you're picking a story to tell, what do you look for? What qualities really excite you? I think it's something that, that was meaningful to me, a moment in my life that other people might have missed, that other people might have said, well, that was an important milestone in your life. It wasn't those you know, big moments. Um, I think it's a little moment that just kind of sticks with you. And, and even when I'm talking to people, it's, it's been my experience a couple times where I've gotten in contact with other folks that are in stories with me from years ago they have very little recollection of the details of the story, and I'm telling them all kinds of pieces. Um, and it's kind of fascinating. And I understand that you've taken some storytelling classes, and I wonder, what has been the most valuable lesson that you've learned in them? I think it's the idea uh, of, of in, a, in a class, being able to be yourself. I think that's the first piece of it. Like, like anybody would tell you, like any good teacher would tell you, is be yourself, and then and then really kind of bring, how did you feel? You know, bring some emotion to it because it's not just reciting a series of facts or events. It's not a police report. Um, it, it's, it's your story. And so really make it yours.